Legalized in April, but still unavailable. We're talking about cannabis oil used to treat seizures. That's a story we've been following, of course, for months now. And tonight, 12 News' Tony Valier speaks with one mother who's desperate to get help for her son and why she may be forced to wait longer. Two-year-old Tristan Schultz's eyes glaze over as the alarm from his breathing machine sounds, warning his mother, Michelle, he's having a seizure. She says he's had up to 60 seizures a day since he was seven months old. Medication isn't working and left him with disabling side effects. He's learned how to walk three times in his life, where he would start, they would put him on a mat and it would make him basically back to a four-month-old. In June, Tristan was bowling with family at a fundraiser for his treatment. The treatment is cannabidiol oil, or CBD, an edible marijuana extract used to treat epilepsy. In April, the oil was legalized in Wisconsin by Governor Walker. The law says it must be prescribed by a doctor and approved by the FDA. However, no medical facilities in Wisconsin are actually providing this service. Desperate to heal her son, Schultz took him to another state for treatment. She says there was a dramatic outcome. The seizures have stopped. He started to eat the second day, like actually pick up food and feed himself, which he didn't even do that before. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? You hear that lapping a lot. And because of that, I say I would love to figure out how to do it. Physician John Whitcomb specializes in holistic medicine and says he's willing to help families wanting to try the oil, but feels it may be impossible. You have to get an investigational FDA license. That's a very high barrier. He says just figuring out how to apply has been an obstacle. So he asked the lawmaker behind the bill about the roadblocks. Why was the bill written the way it was? We did what we did. Uh, to get Republican support with being that they're in the majority party and to get the doctors, the medical community on board and to meet the federal uh, requirements under the FDA provisions. But for parents waiting to try the oil, potential FDA approval can't happen quickly enough. We understand the frustration, but I think, again, people need to understand this bill's been in, in place for two months. And when you're talking about uh, a medical uh, process and you involve the federal government, um, uh, along with the state government, it's never anything that's going to go quickly. The last couple of days, I've not feared losing him at the end of the day so much. But if Wisconsin doesn't figure it out soon enough, we might have to come back and stop the oil because I can't afford to live out there. For now, Schultz says she will have to leave the state to keep Tristan seizure free, but it's not something she can afford to do for very long. And Michelle did not want to reveal the state where she is taking her son. However, we know that 11 states right now have legalized this oil, but no other law is written like the CBD bill passed here in Wisconsin. 12 News reached out to several hospitals to get their take on the oil. Children's Hospital of Wisconsin says, in part, we are committed to finding answers to the questions that remain about how to safely and effectively administer the oil. A statement from UW Health in Madison reads in part, if a study were proposed and approved by the Institutional Review Board and the investigator obtained an FDA investigational permit, UW Health would support that investigator's pursuit of a trial.